part six. There's a warning to this video. What I'm about ready to tell you is not easy to hear because this is the second time I tried to do this to myself. If you haven't watched part five, check it out before you get to this part. And then if you haven't watched the previous part, check out those because those are gonna tell you how did I get to this point. This time I had gotten in trouble at school and my mom told me, don't swing the bat around at the house. I played baseball and I, I was good at it. But for some reason, I was outside near my mom's car and I was swinging the bat around. And my mom had told me, don't swing the bat around the car. And I ended up break, breaking the headlight. The challenge is, at this point in my life, I was getting in trouble for so many things that I was doing to protect myself. So anytime I got in trouble for things like this, I would feel horrible. And I didn't know how to deal with that emotion. And I remember going into my room because my mom put me on timeout. And I went into the room. I had another pocket knife in my room and I pulled it out. My parents were already on alert of me wanting to unalive myself. So they were always checking on me, making sure that I wasn't gonna do anything though, where I would not be able to be able to come back. They, I mean, they love me and they care about me. And I think that's the thing that people don't quite understand. When you are fully thinking about yourself, the people around you are gonna be impacted because of your decision. I didn't know this at the time. The hatred for myself was growing and growing and, and becoming more of a problem for me because the kids made fun of me and I didn't know how to handle being made fun of and I didn't know how to handle getting in trouble when rightly so, I was doing something I shouldn't be doing. Have you found yourself in this situation? Or do you know somebody that has? Share this video with somebody because we need to help every person possible. And here at the Deaf Blind Potter, me as an individual that's deaf blind, I'm here making the mission of my life to rescue as many people from this darkest place of their life, wanting to unalive themselves. And here, we're creating a place where, where you can interact with me, and together, we're gonna go through the journey with my team and the people around me, and you get to be invited into this group, and you get to live beyond this challenge, this darkest point of your life. Part seven, it's not gonna be easy to hear either, but there is hope moving forward into my story. But I want to encourage you, share this video, like this video, and put in the comment, how can you help somebody today? Like I always say, go live beyond your challenges.